Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic, Gauntlet. Gauntlet is a hack and slash that was developed by Atari in 1985. If you've been playing arcade games since the early 80s, then you're probably familiar with the game Dandy for the Atari 8-bit computer. And if you're not, let me fill you in. Dandy is a dungeon crawl game that was released in 1983 and plays a lot like Gauntlet. So much so that the creator of Dandy, John Howard Palovich, threatened a lawsuit against Atari after the game was released on the NES. This resulted in Gauntlet's creator, Ed Logg's name to be removed from the credits of the NES port. Although Although the similarities are very apparent, Law never denies that Dandy served as a source of inspiration for Gauntlet. We'll get back to lawsuits and patents later. Now let me say that Gauntlet is one of the best and most memorable arcade games of all time. It's basically you and or three other friends frantically trying to make your way through a labyrinth while being attacked by hordes and hordes of enemies. You have a choice of either a warrior, a valkyrie, a wizard, or an elf. Each character has their own strengths and weaknesses. For example, the elf does the least damage but is the fastest, the warrior is the strongest, the Valkyrie has the best armor, and the wizard has the strongest magic. You have to stick together as a unit most of the time because if your party gets separated because of an ambush, takes a wrong path, or if you just have a slow or uncooperative party member, you'll be unable to advance because you all share one screen area. This cannon will leave you vulnerable to an onslaught of attacks. You have to find and collect keys along the way to help you open doors and progress through levels. Your health kind of acts like a time limit because it slowly diminishes while you play. You can obtain potions that can increase your armor, speed, magic, fight, and shot power. You can also regain your health by getting food items. The usual dynamic is that you protect and guard the food for the party member with the lowest health and don't shoot the food or potions. Any violation of said rules would result in dirty looks, sneers, and or undesirable comments from the other players. Now there's a bunch of fun facts that you can find around the internet like Gauntlet was going to be originally titled Dungeons, the Valkyrie and the Warrior was originally named Amazon and Hulk, and Sega sending spies at Gauntlet locations taking pictures and gathering info on the game. But there's one Atari fact related to Gauntlet that really piqued my interest and that is in June 1994, Atari applied for and was later granted a patent for a multiplayer, multi-character cooperative play video game with independent player and departure. Now, if you look at the graph, you'll see around 1994 that there was a steep drop in four-player co-op games right at the heart of its popularity. Could this sudden downtrend in the genre in 1994 be somewhat related to Atari's patent? It's hard to say because you have to keep in mind other factors such as robust home consoles released in 94 like PlayStation and the Saturn that sometimes produce better graphics than their arcade counterparts and 2D fight games gaining momentum. If we look back at the same chart and add in a line for 2D fight game releases, you can see a spike in 94 as well. So was the Atari patent a reason for the decline in 4-player cooperative arcade games and a catalyst for growth of 2D fight games? It's plausible, but I doubt it. I find that sometimes patents and copyrights on ideas stunt the growth of a genre and actually hinder the evolution of gaming, and there have been some silly ones. I mean, you have to think. What if Capcom won the lawsuit over Data East Fighters history? Then Capcom would have cornered the market on the 2D fight genre and we would have missed out on some legendary games as covered in an earlier episode. Gauntlet was ported over to the Amstrad CPC, Commodore 64, Apple II, Apple II GS, Apple Macintosh, Atari ST, NES, Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, and the ZX Spectrum. It's also included in the Midway Arcade Treasures for the GameCube, PS2, Xbox, and Windows. All all because you have to pull and stick together, solve puzzles, battle hordes of enemies while making a mad dash for the exit, Gauntlet created a camaraderie between players that I don't remember any 4 player arcade game has ever done. It's similar to modern day online multiplayer games, except the people you're playing with are standing right next to you. Which I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'll tell you what's an extremely bad thing, and it's not playing this game. So grab some friends, run that gauntlet, and let me know what you think.